All right. If you continue considering Revelation chapter 12, mm -hmm. it, it, it opens and says uh, the woman is expectant and delivers a child. And then eventually we are introduced to the dragon once again. Yeah. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 17. One of the identifying marks of God's church. The dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, mm -hmm. which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. I find in these three identifiers, one, the dragon is wrought with this woman. Mm. And the dragon, we are told in verse uh, 9 and 10, is, it is the devil. It's the devil. So, it's, look for a church that uh, the devil is attacking. Mm. Look for a church that, uh, who, which, which uh, espouses teachings that uh, perhaps may not be very popular, that are under attack, mm. though they are based biblical the they have a biblical foundation the devil is right with them so you ask yourself wherever you are um are you sitting comfortable are you sitting on a on, on a bed of roses uh, 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 is the devil asleep in your life you know uh, where you're attending and uh, or are there controversies are there issues that are, that are arising but yes you may find issues that are arising beyond that why are these issues arising is it because you keep the commandments of god all 10 of them and also have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation 19 and verse 10, as Brother Japheth uh, was telling us, says that the testimony of Jesus Christ is what? A spirit is a spirit of prophecy. of prophecy. So God's last day church is a church that keeps the commandments of God. So it, it upholds all the teachings of, of, of God's word fully and truly. And also it has the gift of the spirit of prophecy manifested through the teachings of prophecy. It has, a, it, it has got a, a a, a prophetic angle to it. Indeed, it, 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 is, it, is, it is a church that uh, upholds biblical prophecy as one of the waymarks, one of the key th teachings that enable us to identify God and to know where we are on the stream of time and what we ought to do and how we ought to, be, uh, we ought to, we ought to behave. And far and beyond all this, because it, 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 because it has these two things, the devil is wrath with, her, with this church. It's a church that is under attack, it's a church that is under, under, under siege, but it is the church of God. Amen.